What's up, everyone? It's Intoxicated Opinions. Uh, it's a Friday night. Usually do this on Saturday, but we're going to do it a little early because I was on some alcohol. <laughs> um, tonight, we got some rum, and rum is my favorite. Uh, Flor de Cana, Flor de Cana. I don't know how to say it. You got an idea there? Flor I don't even know what. Cana. What. Uh, where this is from? I've seen it. I ain't never heard of it. I picked it up at the store. It's about thirty dollars. Um, we're gonna get into it. They don't. They don't have a, a description or anything about it's it. So cheap rum, huh? Let's go ahead. And what? Find thing. Thirty is cheap. Yeah. It's Grand Reserve Number no. Seven. We eyeballing the day. Forty percent. Yeah. We're gonna do it the real way. Which? Where is that shot cup at? We don't need it. <laughs> what? I need a shot cup, man. We getting into it today. Oh, that's a lot. There you go. That's way too much. Ooh. That's two shots. Go ahead, brother. It is. This is going to be my taste and my Coke mix. This is too much, man. No, it ain't. I ain't ate nothing, so my, my body's freshly ready to... I haven't eaten. Matter of fact, I just woke up. What? It's yeah. 5.30. I work overnight. <sighs> smell is kind of okay. strong. I can smell some sweetness, though. It's got a cognac smell to it, more than a rum. I don't like cognac, man. I love cognac. All right, here we go. Cheers. I was reading a, um, an article that said you have to, you know, take a couple sniffs, roll it around, take a little, little bitty taste. Oh, that little taste. I could taste rubbing alcohol in that. It burns. <laughs> <laughs> I said a little taste and you drink it all. That's why it burns, man. No, it burns. It's probably not good, huh? Well, it's 40%. I don't know what the other rum is. Oh, this is like... Ooh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Mm. Yeah, they got a... They got an aftertaste. It tastes like a... Uh, Cheap rum? Hand sanitizer. <laughs> Purell. If you sip it, it does not burn as bad. You can taste some of the sweetness, a little bit of a, mm, that's the word I'm looking for. Not maple. It'll come to me when I'm not thinking of it. Uh, it ain't gonna come to you. Uh, the bottle, the bottle's regular, it's normal, you know. Um, it didn't come in a box, huh? No. You didn't chill this one? I didn't. I didn't. It's like we got it. the ice. Uh, you don't like decent. it. You gonna rate it something I, I, under a three, I don't huh? Like it at all. Uh, the bottle I give three point five, three. Not even a three. Probably like a three point oh. Three, huh? Three even. Uh, three, three even out of five. It's just bland. It's not an exciting. It's not smooth, and it and it it has the type, the type is like one of them cheap smearing off tops. Uh. Yeah, it's not smooth at all. Global. It don't have no good taste to it. Yeah, there's nothing that says it won any awards. There's nothing that says. No, it's just a family. What it tastes like is just, hey, here's some rum and alcohol. It's a family brand. You know, family legacy is what it says. Fair trade certified. Uh, I wouldn't get it. Yeah, for, actually, I think it was like 24 25 So it's kind of cheap, but. uh. I could tell. Um, I need a lot of coke in there. Yeah, Malibu tastes better than that. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I still can't find a rum that tastes better than that black bootstrap. Nah, that Kirk and Sweeney did. What? That Kirk and Sweeney. No. Yeah, the Kirk and Sweeney was better. We still got to try the... The 18. The 18, yeah. I was I was gonna get it, but I was like sixty dollars, or I can get two different rums for like fifty. Does it help? No. Nope. It doesn't help. There's nothing smooth about it. Not mixing up well with Coke. Most of the rums we tried have mixed well with Coke. Um, yeah, this is not even a good mixer. Nope. I say maybe like a jungle juice or something like that. You could probably put this in, but as far as just a regular club drink or you know you having a party i wouldn't recommend it you know and it's not 
Like, like he said, this is about twenty something dollars. It's not cheap enough to throw in a jungle juice, really. Uh, kind of overpriced. You know what I just tried, man? A shot of Everclear. I ain't never had Everclear before, but it is the nastiest. You had a shot of Everclear. Shot of Everclear. No, no, no. <laughs> Disgusting. I, I swear to God, if you usually they go in jungle juices, it makes it more potent. Don't taste it. Makes it a little stronger. Um, You'll hurt your throat. Your taste buds will burn. Yeah, I don't. I don't I've never drunk Everclear straight. We're gonna do that next time. Nah, I won't. We're gonna review it. I don't think nobody reviews Everclear. Not good. I don't know. I don't like this. I'm gonna finish this cup. Yeah. We're gonna move on to a, a video different. with some beer with uh, that big uh, goblet of. Other than this, I mean, if I was to rate it, I'd give it like a probably like a two point five. It's not good at all. Oh, you're nicer to me. I'm giving it a two. Yeah. I don't like it. The only thing I've tasted worse is that ducket. Yeah, that ducket was a zero. <laughs> <laughs> I give it like a, a one. Um, it's a liquor. It doesn't taste horrible. It just got a burn. It got an aftertaste to it. I think uh, the problem is we're spoiled on all these different kinds of rums that really yeah, do taste still, good. You would still expect this to be decent. It's not even decent. It's not yeah. like a. It's not a sipping rum. It's yeah. not a mixing rum. I wouldn't it's even just... ask for this if I was at a bar and it was on sale. Like, I wouldn't get a shot of this. Like, I'd go to Fireball or something like that. Uh. Uh, it's cold, <laughs> but yeah, it's not. It's not too apt. Again, this is called. Uh, I'll put this in the title: Florida Cana, um, and there's nothing else really that is on it. it says Family Legacy, Fair Trade certified, um, sugar free. Yeah. That's it. Looks like it's coming from Nicaragua. <laughs> Nico Nicaragua. Nicaragua. <laughs> <laughs> Nicaragua. Where, what, what country is that? Or is that the country? I don't know. Look. I do not know. I don't want to Nicaragua. say Nicaragua. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, our suggestion, don't buy it, save your money. Look at some of our other rum reviews. What I'm going to do is make a folder on our YouTube list. You can check out all of our drink reviews, and you can separate those, and you can kind of see the other ones we did. But... I don't like this at all. So I'm gonna give it a two on taste. I'm gonna give it a two on appearance. It's just a bottle. Looks yeah. kind of cheap, really. I'll um, probably give it a two, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, Overall, it's just a two. It looks like I, I dropped the ball this time. Yeah, you did. I dropped Horrible. the ball. But that's the only way we're gonna know <laughs> the ones that are good, the ones that are bad. You're right. We, uh, I see we, we, we're we'll lean more towards the aged. Uh, see what those are like next time. We'll compare and contrast. Uh, I mean, you're going to add it to your collection now. I'll probably give it to somebody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it home. <laughs> uh, we appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe. Let us know if there's any alcohols you want us to try. We about to switch drinks. I'm not drinking this anymore. And we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>